Christmas crime has been committed against me. This is a vendetta. A vendetta! Ow! I have to go back in time. <gasps> So time travel's out of the picture, plus we broke the helmet. Let's do it! Our preliminary investigation left us with no leads. We tried everything! Mm -hmm. Um, hey man, not to interrupt your whole, uh... Mind palace thing you got going on here. Yeah, but it's Christmas Eve, so can we put a hold on the whole crime thing? Christmas crime. Yeah, this uh, Kringle caper? Yeah, festive felony. We're all great at this game, but can we focus in? Get put on like a holiday movie like Pig or something. Yeah, or True Grit. Dear Storks, I have decided that if you won't take my work, no, my life's work, with the utmost seriousness, then I shall take my leave. Consider this my resignation from the Kid Detective League, and my formal announcement that I am running away from home. P.S. Carol Baskin killed her husband, but I didn't actually watch the show. I remember what happened. Kicked your ass, you boner. I knew it was you. Who else would be f No one of the most powerful being in the world. You need to calm down. Don't change the subject. I want to know what happened. We were having our bi-weekly poker game, okay? You were winning, naturally. So, I brought you home, and you wouldn't shut up about it. Didn't give me any gas money, and wouldn't shut up about it. I was so over it that I swung at you. And then you started calling me the stand-in Santa. You are. You're also a huge dick. Well, I ended up decking you. Next thing I know, you hit the ground. I sprinkled some magic shit on you. How do you think you healed so well? Thought I was going through puberty. Again. 30. Still doesn't explain why you're in this creepy murder shed. Those two assholes wouldn't help me with my investigation. Do we have to do this every 10 years? I guess so. Do you not remember the meaning of Christmas? Something about spending time with time, time after time. You learn nothing. It's about who you spend your time with. About the people you love. About those dorks in there. This sounds so familiar. I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. Welcome to Christmas Past. Look how happy you were here. Your friends, the people you love. Ethan, we're gonna eat you. What's the secret? I don't know if I'm... Not, Not even Nicholas Nicolas Cage. Cage. No. No. Mm -mm. Ugh. Let's go to the present. Look at your friends. Look at all the nice things they have to say about you. That scene afterwards, yeah. and he was like, just because it's a great scene. They like read whatever the quote the chaplain has for yeah. that, like how was his favorite scene they shot from the movie, but it just but from the fit. story, it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's just go see the future. What the hell? Shit. Hold on. Oh, too far. Both of them? Yeah, do you have both my parents? Hmm. 
Hey. Hey. Do you want to see what I got, Tyler? You want to see what I got, Tyler? See, Ty, that doesn't matter where you are. It just matters who you're there with. Is that what Ethan got me for Christmas? Ty! I know I need to be more thankful for what I have, and not what I don't have. Thank you for reminding me. So, I says to Brian, I'm like, I'm happy to take your sister out, but you're gonna have to give me $5 for gas. Wait, $15 Brian? for food. And he was like, well, I can give you 15 total. I said, that's not enough to take your sister out on a nice date. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, man. What's up, dude? Hey, Ben, where you been? Hey Ben, where you been? Nowhere. Just, I'm glad to be hanging out with you guys. Gross. I wouldn't be. You met my dog Ted. Found out I just can't have kids. <laughs> Delete Flores now. We did. Let's try one more time. Oh, okay. That's about right. That's a blooper. Yeah, I, I, that's so weird. I can't think of a reason. Yeah. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Where were you on this date? We never dated. Both of your faces. <laughs>